Hello and welcome to 4 Minutes in the Front Row. I'm John Broman and today I'm going to give you three of my favorite strategies for creating and designing a compelling message. Now if you're a parent trying to influence your children, a manager or a leader trying to influence your teams, or a speaker or a trainer, and you're trying to influence your audience, these messages are for you today. These three powerful ideas. Number one, the power of mind mapping and a secret trick with mind mapping that will help you to internalize the information. Not just know it here, but know it here. Now, many of you already use mind mapping. You know this system, and behind me you'll see the mind map for the Front Row Factor book. I use this in so many areas of my life. Now, if you don't know mind mapping, just a quick Google search. Pause this. Go search, the Google, go search Google, and you'll get it. But the idea is to visually see all your ideas on paper so you can move them around and it can make the most sense. Now, the trick is this. In order to really get the information in your body, in your heart and soul, so you're not recalling it from here and being logical in its delivery, but you're trying to really authentically connect with your audience by delivering your information from your heart, you need to keep repeating it and practicing it by recalling the information. See, our memory is strengthened when we recall and we get that information. I learned this first by reading Fluent Forever by uh, Gabriel Cruz, I think is his name. And I was learning Russian. And I will tell you that, he, you know, is this part where he's talking about when we search for the word and then we get it, it was in the moment of struggle that it strengthened. So when we recreate our content from scratch, and when we struggle to remember, what was that idea and how was I going to package it and what order, we get it deeper into our bodies and we can deliver it then more authentically. Strategy number two. Strategy number two is to enter the world of your audience. Always be thinking about what is my audience thinking, feeling, experiencing about life? What are their struggles? What are their pain points? What do they want and need? And again, whether you are a parent or a leader of a team, if you're communicating with people, understanding and appreciating somebody else's experience of life is going to be critical for delivering a message that connects and communicates well. So you've got to be able to enter their world. Now, at a live event that I help co-host, the Speaker Trainer Experience, which is in San Diego in March this year, we give a full list, a checklist, of all the things to ask yourself when creating a message so that you can know everything you need to know about your audience. But for right now, just think about what are they experiencing in life? What is their great pain point? What do they want? What do they need? You know, have they heard this message many other times before? How do they need to hear the message delivered? So many different people need to learn in different ways. So know your audience. Number three is to practice talking it out. You know, a lot of us benefit from just talking it out. I mean, think about a coaching relationship is very similar. Some people have come to me in the past as a coach and said, John, I just need somebody to talk this out with. I've gone to friends, uh, you know, mentors of mine and said, I just need to talk this out. Can I just kind of free flow here and download some ideas to you and tell me what you think? And then once we've created a message, we need to keep talking it out. A lot of times when we start delivering our message, the first time we say it, it's clunky. Too many words. We've got to keep refining it. Just get to the essence. Just get to the point. How do we get it faster and smoother and more fluid throughout? So blending ideas, making sure the transitions work, making sure that, you know, hey, can I cut that out? Like editing a good book, right? It's like, what can I chop out to just get to the good stuff? And so when delivering a message, a lot of it is in the editing. And a lot of times when you talk it out, you'll edit yourself. The first time you say it, it'll take you 10 minutes. The second time you say it, it'll take you eight, and then four, and then you can say the whole thing in, in two minutes. Sometimes I challenge my coaching clients. They'll, they'll tell me something for five minutes. I'll say, tell me that in one minute. And then they'll say it, and I'll say, tell me that in one sentence. And then I'll say, okay, now tell me that in one word. And we try to distill it to its essence. So these are three strategies that I use in creating messages, the power of mind mapping and then repeating them from memory. Number two, entering the world of my audience to truly understand who I'm speaking to and what they need the most from me. And number three, talking it out and rehearsing and practicing so that you can refine it and make it awesome. I hope these help. Until next time, keep living your life in the front row. Thanks for being part of the Front Row community. I'm John Broman. I'll talk to you next time. Adios.